TTM Trades, all right, today, look, we're going to be talking about Tesla, all right, and uh, don't forget at the end of the week, we're going to do the end of the week review on my small account challenge, taking $500 to 100000 so please tune in on Friday for that, and if you're not part of the Discord, go down and join the Discord chat room, man, the link is below, I post all my plays in there, we building a strong community, okay, so stop being lazy, go join the Discord, hit the subscribe button if you ain't subscribed, hit the notification button. And we're going to jump right into it. We're going to talk about Tesla. Three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. All right, so with Tesla, looking at Tesla, Tesla, you see, strong run up. I done talked about Tesla so many times. It's been all over YouTube, all the different traders talking about Tesla, bullish. People making money on it left and right, so on and so forth. Everybody made some good bread on Tesla, all right? So with that being said, looking at Tesla on the weekly chart, nice run up. Last week had that strong sell-off when it topped off at 980, well, 968, all right? Strong pullback. And then this week, you kind of get a little small gap up with some selling happening, okay? Now, what do I think with Tesla? I think now's the time to take puts on Tesla, all right? I don't think Tesla's going to sell off in a major way, but I do think it's going to pull back here pretty soon and this would be a good time to make some quick profit all right now that pullback um could turn into a uh, let me say that consolidation could turn into a major pullback okay so with that being said looking at the daily all right again zooming in we're zooming in each frame all right getting in a little closer so looking at that as it made that gap up right here 968 immediate sell-off and then, as you can see, it came back down, still holding above its top two uh, Bollinger Bands. And then, again, it reattempted to try to break above that um, top two standard deviation Bollinger Band, but immediately got rejected, okay? We know if a, a, a stock is in a very strong uptrend, it will keep tagging the band and pushing higher and higher. So, immediately got ejected, rejected, and now it's moving sideways, all right? So, now, if we zoom in on the two-hour chart, one thing... I always say, um, as I trade with the double Bollinger Band strategy, as you can see, I have two bands here. We know a stock is in a strong, continuous uptrend anytime it utilizes the two-hour, uh, not the two-hour, but anytime it utilizes the middle Bollinger Band as a strong line of support. Okay, so looking at Tesla here, what I mean by that, when it started that run-up in December, as it had to run up holding between its top two Bollinger Bands when it pulled back, it held right in, uh, above that uh, middle Bollinger Band. Again, run up, pull back, holding above that one standard deviation Bollinger Band right here, the green one. Another run up as it pulled back, found support on the middle Bollinger Band. Another higher high, pull back, found support on the middle Bollinger Band, creating a high low. And then another strong run up, creating a high high, pull back, found support on that middle Bollinger Band. Now, as it attempted to break back out, uh could not break back out above its one standard type deviation bottom band which is a warning sign um that that uptrend could be weakening now along with that warning sign and it getting rejected by that top one standard deviation bottom band is the pmo is crossing over all right and when the pmo crosses over that normally means two things right one the uptrend is slowing down okay uh which can mean the price action is consolidating uh, and or two that consolidation can then turn into a downtrend right so you got to kind of be careful when the pmo downturns like this all right so with that being said again found support on that middle bottom japan another attempt to try to break out to start another uptrend immediately rejected found support on that middle bottom japan and as it's trying to hold had a little spike up at 789 and now as you can see it just fell below that middle bottom japan okay uh on some high volume all right and as you can see here the rsi anytime you're in a strong uptrend your rsi will always stay above 40 and 50 always all right so what i mean by that rsi is running holding above its averages when it pulls back holds above the 50 holds above middle bonds band strong run uptrend when it pulls back hold above the 50 hold above middle bonds band another run up pulls back hold above the 50 holds on the middle bonds band another strong run pulls back Holds on the 50, holds on the middle Bollinger Bands. Hovering above 50, hovering above middle Bollinger Band. Price action is starting to fail and no longer holding on the middle Bollinger Band. And the RSI is starting to curve downward. Unable to break back above its two averages, the green and yellow line. Okay, as you can see on each push, it always broke back above. 
push here, broke back above, broke above, broke above, broke above, and now it's struggling, and the RSI is starting to fail. So this is on a two-hour chart. The bigger trend um, is starting to pull back. Now, with that being said, where is the price action going to pull back to? So we're going to zoom in from the two-hour chart, go to the 30-minute chart. Looking at the 30-minute chart, all right, again, that run-up in a more fine line detail. As you can see here, the price action has been trending sideways, consolidating. As you can see, the bands are getting tight, volatility very low, hence the bottom of the band width below its average. And now it's trying to hold and maintain. The PMO, as you can see here, is still in positive territory, way above zero. It's trending sideways to reflect this consolidation right here. One thing to keep in mind is as the PMO was flattened out, uh, as it had attempted to make a break above its uh, 30 period moving average, the yellow line, immediately it got rejected and began trending back down. Okay, so the overall momentum in Tesla on a 30 minute time frame is slowing down. Okay, so what I what's happening right now is the bulls had this strong run. Okay, they ran it up to 968, 969. They tried to run it back up again, 795. They tried to run it up again. Couldn't make that break above that one standard deviation bottom band, and the bulls are beginning to notice that they're losing control of the momentum as far as pushing Tesla back up to retest those highs. So with that being said, they're either locking their profits um, or they're just selling and getting out of the way. All right, and with that being said, the bears are beginning to pile on the Tesla uh, to possibly short this down. All right. So with that being said, is the next line of support looking at the two-hour chart is 727. Okay. The green line, the bottom one standard deviation, uh, Bollinger Band. So, with that said, even the RSI on the 30 minute chart holding above the 50 to show that it's still holding that trend and then immediate failure. And then, as the RSI began to try to turn back up, it got rejected by the 50. Another early warning, okay? PMO trending, holding above its averages and has immediately failed and fell below its averages. And now, you know, I'm not going to say it got rejected, but it's doing the same as the RSI is holding within the yellow zone to show that the trend is either a weak uptrend and or it's consolidating. So we know where there's low volatility, as you can see here, low volatility below its average, high volatility follows. Remember, volatility is cyclical, okay? Where there's high volatility, low volatility will soon follow. And where there's low volatility, high volatility will soon follow for a breakout, okay? We know that, okay? So with that being said, low volatility, breakout. Pull below its uh, average, showing that the bands are constricting low volatility, breakout. Again here, low volatility, and it's been low volatility as the bands constrict, but another breakout is about to happen. Looking at the momentum on the 30-minute chart and the two-hour chart, the breakout is not going to be to the upside. It's going to be down to the downside, okay? And the closest line of support on the 30-minute chart, again, is that 727, which is reflected on the two-hour chart right at its one standard deviation bottom of band. So I would play puts on Tesla, try to ride it down to 727. If that 727 fails for any odd reason, uh, the next you're looking at that 672 right below it to try to catch uh, the Tesla price action. If that 672 fails, then you're going to be pulling back down to this 500 area, which I highly doubt Tesla falls that low, okay? Overall, the trend is still very bullish, okay? As you can see, the PMO is trending heavy above its averages. Again, we got the warning uh, back in October. Again, when the PMO was trending way below, it finally broke above, but it was struggling to hold above a zero line. Once it finally broke out above that zero line in that 150 movement uh, period average, we knew that Tesla had gained some momentum and some bond was coming into play, okay? So as you can see here, the PMO is still very strong. It's holding on very tight. Um, you can see the volume's getting pretty low on a day-to-day -day basis, um, showing that there's not a lot of buyers coming in to push this up any higher. So you're going to pretty soon get a sell-off here, um, hopefully down to only that 727, and you should see the volume start picking up to reflect the selling, all right? Um, but again, if that 727 doesn't hold, you got 672. If that 672 doesn't hold, then you got 555, uh, which is right where the middle bottom of the band is at on the daily, sitting at 591, give or take $40 off, okay? So, play puts on Tesla. I wouldn't look for a bullish run anytime soon. Um, yeah, and if you make money, let me know. Join the Discord, let me know if you make some money, but 
play puts on Tesla. Two other plays I'm looking at that we called in the Discord chat room. Let me pull this up real quick so y'all can get a look. So a couple other plays we was talking about. Oh, Roku. So we posted on the small account challenge yesterday at 11.58. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Before Roku broke out, we was keeping an eye on a Roku because it was having the same setup um, as most breakout stocks when we see it the same pattern. So Roku on watch as it consolidates still haven't received a buy signal, but could be received later this week for a consolidation breakout play and then no you know the following day sure enough roku broke out of this downward consolidation as you can see here it kept getting rejected by the middle bottoms of band once two three four and then finally broke above it okay the 150 was holding as a strong line of support one two three four and then it fell but now it has broken above it all right Averages breaking out, PMO is breaking out above its averages. Um, and the PM, excuse me, the Shonda is breaking out above its averages, and then the PMO is starting to flatten out right above the zero line, okay, which is a good thing. All right, so if it if the PMO falls in below the zero, then it's in bear territory, which means you will possibly see a, a nice sell off. But as it got right down to this uh zero line right here, it's starting to flatten out and curl back up, okay, so. We're probably going to see another couple of days of consolidation. The key thing with Roku is you want to see it consolidate above 132. Because again, if a stock is in a strong uptrend, it will hold above its middle Bollinger Band. Okay. So as you can see here, Roku and it had its run up, breakout, pullback fell below the middle Bollinger Band, but immediately ran back up. Middle Bollinger Band ran back up, tried to hold on that middle Bollinger Band, and then failed. All right. So that's what we want to see here. We want to see the price action breakout which it did okay that's what we was looking for that initial consolidation breakout is broken out and it's going to pull back it needs to pull back so we'll look at the 30 minute chart kind of zoom in on roku a little bit as you can see here it needs to pull back all right had that strong run up it finally broke above that 150 sma it's trying to hold on the middle bollinger band to start the uptrend but i think that middle bollinger band is going to fail and it needs to pull back and retest that 132 to 130 area uh, so that way we can solidify that this breakout is a true breakout. Okay, so I would wait for Roku to pull back again in that 130 to 132 area. And then if that holds, which coordinates to that middle Bollinger Band right here, sitting at 132. If it holds in that area and the PMO begins to flatten out to show that the downward momentum is, is beginning to shift. You already see that the, um, the volatility is very low, seeing that we're below that Bollinger Band with average. So where there's low volatility, high volatility is soon to follow. So you should begin to break out here soon, but we want to see that breakout to the upside. So as Roku pulls back, look for 132 support to hold and then um, start positioning yourself for call options for a breakout. Now, if that 132 fails, then I would not mess with Roku. Again, I would just wait it out and see what happened. But 132 needs to hold for Roku breakout that just happened to hold true and for that uptrend to continue. Let's look at the two hour chart real quick. Yeah, as you can see, it's been rejected by that 150 SMA, one, two, three, four, it finally broke above. And now it's beginning to pull back. So again, that 132, that 130 to 132 area needs to hold. All right, as it breaks out above that 150 SMA, when it pulls back, it needs to hold above it. As you can see, the PMO is finally breaking out in the positive territory. Price action may need to consolidate a little bit, so um, I'll probably start positioning myself sometime next week, not this week, uh, because with a breakout like that, it needs time to consolidate, and it needs time for more buyers to come in and solidify that position uh, to kind of dissuade the bears to stay in their positions, and once they're out the way, then Roku can continue their uptrend. All right, TTM trades, I'm out. The uh, Discord link is down below. Go join the Discord. Uh, if you haven't joined the Discord, then you need to just, I don't know, you need to get off my channel, all right? But TTM Trades, I'm out. Till next time, you got any questions, any plays you want to suggest, anything you want me to look out, leave a comment below on the net. Till next time. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed.